Our next recipient is an outstanding linebacker, both at the college and the NFL level. And I believe he's credited for the trend that you see now when the quarterback comes to the line of scrimmage and you see the quarterback pointing out. This is where it started with Takeo Spikes with the quarterback saying, block that guy. <laughs> Let's enjoy Takeo's video. Set my timer. Washington County, we up in here. Oh, and the timer right here in front of me. Okay. All right, look, first of all, I want to give it up for my family, support staff. One of the best supporting staffs you could ever have. You could ever have. Um, I got plenty of stories that I would love to share with you. But I thought it would be very appropriate if I shared a story with you of me coming from here, ground roots on this soil that's also known as red clay here in Georgia. My my introduction to football, it, it really came from following my brother, Eric. Didn't even know what I was doing, but I just wanted to do whatever he was doing. And uh, Eric always stayed involved with a lot of stuff, but the, the, the first true moment that really brought me in love with the game, I had an anger moment. And a guy did one of my teammates a certain way. He actually ran him over, and I was like, okay. And he looked at me, and he was like, I do you like that too. The next play, I hit him right up under the chin, knocked him back, and that was the first time I really fell in love with the game because I knew I could hit somebody <laughs> and not get in trouble for it. But what really elevated my thought process into becoming not only the player that I develop into, but the, the man that I am now is my father. He's not here with us. But uh, the best, one of the best things he did for me was he brought home a tape and it really showed me how to structure my thoughts. As far as if you wanna see something, if you wanna get it, this is what you need to do to organize it and make it happen. And from that time period, I'm very thankful and blessed because a few days later, um, it was announced at our high school, Rick Tomlin, um, him and his coaching staff was coming in and I didn't know anything about him. I just knew he came from the Grange and I wanna give a special shout out not only to Rick Tomlin, but all the assistant coaches who was on that staff with me. I want to give these guys a round of applause because they was big in my development. Rick Tomlin, you will be up here one day soon, buddy. I know you will. One of the greatest to ever do it when you talk about strategic planning. Um, we met, I talked to coach and my first interaction was, coach, I want to be like, I want to go to this school in Alabama. He was like, which one? And I was like, Alabama. And he looked at me and said, man, you can accomplish whatever you want to. I'll get you. I'm going to have some people come here. And I was thinking, oh, man, he just jiving me. Little did I know, Robert Edwards, he came through. Demetro Stevens, he's here tonight, one of my big brothers who I really looked up to. And I remember him taking Demetro on college visits. And when he took Demetro to college visits, at sometimes I couldn't go because they didn't want me, they wanted Demetro. And, and from that point, we became close because I was up under his leadership. And as watching, we got through my junior year, this was another big moment for me. We went and we played Mary Persons and we lost that football game against Mary Persons. And myself, my best friend, Michael Parker, he's here tonight. And we was like, we gotta do whatever we can because we felt like not only did we let the coaches down, but Demetro down. 
That next year, we came back and ran the table 15-0. and And one of the best high school teams, I think, that was ever assembled, especially when you look at the per, cop, per population of where we come from. And, um, and one funny thing about that story is my mom. I was like, Mom, did you see when I do this in the game? Did you see when I do that? And then she was like, well, it's Keo. Like, the only time I ever see you is when you run and catch the ball, so I just look for you and do, to do that. And I'm like, Mom, you've been watching all of these years. You mean to tell me you don't know exactly what's going on? So I, it, I took it as a personal point to say, you know what? Every time I catch that ball, <laughs> my mama be watching it. <laughs> so just to wrap up, I, I want to say this. I tell you those stories, and, and they mean a lot to me, but the thing that I learned from out of that coaching staff, my best friend, Mike, Demetro, Q, I see you here. My crew is here. Lisa, everybody, Brent, my all-time favorite, Carlos. I tell you this, I learned everything what I'm made up of, especially I talk to my daughter all the time, and I tell her I want her to have that grit around her. And people ask, like, what is grit? Well, that grit is the strength of character, the strength of will, having morals, toughness, resolve, and most of all, wisdom. Um, I learned it from my community. I learned that from my coaching staff, and I learned it from my close niche of friends who I'm forever around, and, and I would be remiss if I didn't say this again from this table right down here at the bottom. I want to give credit to all the inductees. It's quite, it's quite a privilege and an honor to be your classmate coming into the hall. I never forget this day. And people ask me, what is my why? Why do I do it? I say it's easy. When you see so many kids looking up to you and they have so many bad influences around, whether or not if it's TV, radio, I hashtag everything that I do on my social media. You can't be what you can't see. And that's unfortunately how a lot of kids think. Now I'm here to tell you, with this Hall of Fame patch on my jacket and this Hall of Fame ring I'm about to put on my hand, you can be what you can see because I'm living proof right in front of you. I thank you guys.